Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are vlogging. Today is Wednesday, I had to think about it, of course, because I think about it every day. I'm like, wait, what day is it? This quarantine has still got me all messed up. But today is Wednesday and I wanted to bring out the camera and vlog a little bit. I do have to film a sit down video, um, Penelope's two month update because she's two months already. I cannot believe it. Time is going by so fast and it makes me like a little sad, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I have to do that um, and just normal quarantine stuff. So I figured I'd pull out the vlog camera. But I do have some updates for you guys. Penelope is sleeping through the night. Let me put you guys down so we can talk about this. So by the time you guys see this video, that two month update is gonna be up anyway, but I will briefly talk about her little, or her big sleep progress. So yeah, she started sleeping through the night last Wednesday, so exactly a week from today and i'm just in shock like i don't even know what to say <laughs> so basically she had been sleeping pretty good throughout the night she would wake up twice or really it was once i know i was saying twice for a little while but honestly by five o'clock in the morning that's morning to me like that's sleeping through the night so she would wake up once throughout the night um at around like three four o'clock and then she would wake up again around six and then i would try to put her back down and she'd be up for the day but now, recently, she dropped that like three o'clock feeding, which just makes it so much easier because she's, that makes it basically her sleeping through the night. And it's easier for me because I don't have to wake up, change her diaper, feed her, and do all that stuff. So I'm just so thrilled about that. But I'll go more into detail in that two month update and I'll link it up here for you guys to check out. But she's actually waking up from her nap now. Let me see what time it is. Um, it's 10.02 and she's been sleeping for an hour and nine minutes, which is pretty good. Now I'm kind of trying to get her to do better naps and I'm not really in control of that, she's in control of that. The only thing I can try to do is just really pay attention to those wake windows, which I think did help her sleep better throughout the night. Um, but honestly, it's up to her to take an hour nap, a 45 minute nap, a two hour nap. I can't control her naps. So now that she's able to connect sleep cycles, which I know she's doing because she's sleeping through the night, um, her naps have been better but I would like to see them more on a like two hour schedule kind of thing where she's up for an hour, sleeps for two hours, up for an hour, sleep for two hours. Um, probably like next month though. I don't, I'm not rushing her. This whole thing has been a very slow process and I'm just happy that she's even gotten to this point, especially like I said with me breastfeeding her because it's really hard. Breastfeed, breastfed babies are hungry more often. Formula sticks to them so it's able, it's a little bit easier for them to kind of sleep through the night um, but it's still hard not to say that it's easy for formula fed babies either it's still hard but I'm just saying so she's waking up for her nap she's getting fussy let me go get her oh another thing really quick before I go get her guys I was able to shower now that she's napping a little bit better and a little bit more consistently I was able to shower with her like having her on the monitor and right outside like the shower I put her on the sink and that's just so awesome because before I would be so scared to shower with her um, napping because I'm like what if she wakes up and more or less I know if she's gonna wake up I can kind of tell when I put her down if it's gonna be a good nap or a bad nap so I won't shower if I think it's gonna be one of those like fussy naps like the other day I had to go in there like four or five times before she finally took like a 30 minute nap but more or less I can kind of tell and it's just nice to have that freedom it's just so nice when your child starts to cooperate, let me tell you. Because <laughs> the first month is rough. So rough. Okay, let's go get her. She's crying. How was that nap, girlfriend? <laughs> How was it, baby? Yes, he's stretching. Oh my gosh, big girl. Look at you. These are three months jam three month jammies, guys. And I feel like they fit her perfect. Like, except this way. Like She's a little thin baby, but she she's long, I feel like. Because even the arms, I mean, she's stretching, but they, like, just get to her wrist. Right, baby girl? How's that now? Can you smile for mommy and show them that you smile for mommy now? I think she's so distracted by the camera, but she's such a smiley baby now. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've seen all the adorable smiling pictures of her. But she actually will smile if I, like get her to smile so I know she's smiling on purpose now which I had mentioned in one of my previous vlogs I think uh, sleep training my six month old or um, six week old I said it because I just felt like she was right on the verge and mommy was right yes there it is okay I'm back I don't remember exactly what I was saying before I had to get Penelope 
changed and fed and everything, but she's now playing in her crib. I got her this little black and white book so that she can do some more tummy time, just a little bit more comfortably than on her play mat. This is really cute too because you can like strap it wherever. Um, and I just really think it's so cute. And this side you can actually use when they're older. I showed this on Instagram because obviously this is color. But I showed this on Instagram just in case you guys were curious. But And then I just put this thing here because it makes sound and it's just to like keep her a little bit more awake. This one has color on this side, but I do have a black and white one over on her play gym. So the other thing that I was able to do now that she's actually napping a little bit more consistently is paint my nails. <laughs> I'm so happy about it. I was like bragging to my husband and I was like, I actually was able to paint my nails and now I can shower and he doesn't understand. He just doesn't get the excitement that comes with like just being able to feel like a little bit more like yourself again. So yeah, just being able to paint my nails makes me so happy because I just felt like they looked so gross. Like in my um, nursery tour, they, they looked absolutely insane. I felt like people probably thought I was so... Ugh. So I'm currently on my um, laptop. I'm chilling out while Penelope takes a nap because this is me time. Love that she's napping more because it's just great. Or more consistently, I should say. Just a little bit more consistently and a little bit longer, which I like. But I'm just watching some YouTube and I'm on Sephora because, I don't know, I just feel like we're in quarantine. I'm not really doing anything. I should have like go back into looking into getting my skin a little bit nicer. Or maybe I just wanna shop, I don't know. Um, I have not been doing anything to my skin and I hardly wear makeup unless I'm like filming for you guys. So why not like start looking into some skin products? So originally I was a little nervous about it because I do have dermatitis and everything seems to flare it up. Like the simplest things seem to flare it up. So I stick to a very, very simple skin regimen, which is just oh and if i sound sniffly or congested i just took an allergy pill my allergies are rocking me today so that is why but i have to only use or i only use the dr what is it called dr broner's um castile soap for my face and then i use a eczema kind of face and body lotion on my face also <laughs> as my wash i use the dr broner's as my moisturizer i use the la roche posay eczema cream and um, that's really all I've been doing I haven't even been using an eye cream guys I like ran out and I just never bought one and this is not the time for me to stop wearing eye cream like I'm about to be 30 soon like in like what like four months or something I'm about to be 30 so I really need to get it together so I said let me go on Sephora and see what's going on but I'm so out of the beauty like loop lately that I don't even know what's the pro like what are the products that are like in anymore or like what are good. So I'm just gonna, or what's good I should say, <laughs> what are good makes no sense. So I'm just gonna stick to like my OGs, which is the Peter Thomas Roth mask. I'm gonna try them again. I really love those masks, so I'm gonna get like a kit of those. And then I wanted to try some glow products, and I also wanted to try um, some kind of like microdermabrasion or something because I actually have a bruise on my nose. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera right now, but I have a bruise on my nose because this morning I just went to town on my blackheads on my nose because they were just like so bad that they I can feel them over like on top. It, it was gross. So I just like scraped them all out and I did it so hard that I bruised my nose. Yes, I know. I also have like a huge zit on the bridge of my nose, which never happens. Like I don't have a problem with breakouts anymore now that I started doing that. Like now that I use the Dr. Bronin's um, soap that like single-handedly cured my acne. I know it's not gonna work for everyone, but I had mentioned it before and that soap is bomb for acne oily prone skeletons. Oh my God, acne oily prone skin. Yeah. Um, I have like this huge zit on my nose, which I'm sure you can see that because even trying to cover it, it's humongous. So that's kind of going away now. But anyway, I um, I don't even have any like mask or anything to like put on there because I don't know what happened. Like when we moved, I just misplaced everything. And then we have like a bunch of stuff in storage. So I think like all of my skincare and a lot of my makeup is in storage. By the time I go to get it, it'll probably be like expired. So I'm gonna go on Sephora and I'm gonna like check out a couple things. So that's what I'm doing now. Let's see how long she's been napping. I'm just curious. Cause she woke up a couple times, but then she put herself back to sleep, which is the most amazing thing in the world. It doesn't happen all the time, but she's getting it, which I'm happy about 57 minutes. So 
that's really good i'm really happy about that because even if she wakes up in the next like five ten minutes she slept an hour and that's better than a 30 45 minute nap and apparently they go through sleep cycles in a 45 minute wave i thought it was 30 minutes but i recently saw it was 45 minutes so that means she she made it through one of her sleep cycles and she's still sleeping but yeah that's what i'm doing now watching some youtube and looking on sephora um but i'm also waiting for an order to come in from Amazon. I've been quarantine shopping so much like my husband's gonna kill me if he ever finds out. I bought these um, blackout like curtains, no blinds that are like easy to apply for like since I'm renting I don't have to put screws they're just like a tape on so it sounds interesting and it could be really cheapy but for the what I'm using it for it might be perfect which is to use in Penelope's nursery. Um, because I wanted a little bit darker in there. It's just not dark enough. Apparently, when I was doing some research on like napping and stuff, I read that you should do the hand like test where if you can see your hand, your hand in front of your face, it's not dark enough in the room. And I'm like, damn, that's like dark. Um, and that like just makes me nervous that she would confuse her nap time for nighttime. But apparently that's not the case. When they come out of nap time and you bring them into the daylight, then they know, oh, it's daytime. Whereas at night, you don't ever do that because it's just dark and you just keep it dark. So I was like, okay, well, let me try to get her some darker curtains or, or, or um, blinds or whatever. But I didn't want to spend a ton of money because we're renting um, and we're probably only going to be here another year. So I figured, let me just see what's on Amazon. And I found these like really easy install like cur um, I keep saying curtain blinds. So I'm curious how they're gonna look. So I wanted to show you guys on camera when I get them in the mail. They were supposed to come yesterday and they didn't come. So hopefully they come today. Okay, so these are the blinds, and they have this like little part here that you can measure it, and you're supposed to cut it with a knife. I mean, it sounds kind of bootleg and ghetto, but <laughs> that's what it showed on the. Um, Amazon kind of what's it called with the video on Amazon they're called easy lift I guess shades for reference but I don't know am I supposed to cut this do not cut the side of the arrow I don't know I don't know let's see if this is like a total fail or not <laughs> God, guys I did it it took forever to cut the end look you can even see it's like it looks a little jankety but nobody's gonna be able to see that I could have done a better job if it wasn't so stressful but they work I mean they're stuck up there now and if I close this they work perfect because now it'll be nice and dark in here when she needs to take a nap I just should have put it on this window, but I wasn't paying attention because I have her here and she's getting fussy. Right, baby? Whoops. But I'm happy. They work and they look seamless. Like the top looks great. Just you don't want to look like on the side when it's all the way up and see all like the little pieces of paper. I could probably just rip that off really quick here. I think what I would do the next time is just use like a regular big kitchen knife because I these little knives weren't doing it. Like this to cut through this for some reason was so hard but after you do cut through it this is a um what's it called it's sticky and then you just stick it up there and then you got your little blinds. Good morning guys it's actually the next day um I just finished showering putting on some makeup straightening my hair just because yesterday I didn't get to finish or I didn't like the footage that I filmed for her one month update or two month update. Oh my God, <laughs> two month update. So I decided I'm just going to refilm it um, today. It's so unfortunate that I cannot film on my couch. I would love to film on my couch, but I have windows coming from the back if you guys can even see back here. So the lighting just gets really crappy, honestly. Um, so the best place to film is either like here, but I just hate the backdrop like I don't know I just don't know if you guys want to see like that during a video or in Penelope's nursery Which is my favorite lighting honestly because she has a smaller room with two huge windows That bring in so much light and the background is her crib. So it's just a little bit more like 
pleasing to the eye. <laughs> um, but I just filmed in there the last video, so I don't know if I want to do it again. I have to figure it out. But I figured once I got her down for her nap, I would get myself ready and pretty much start the day. And obviously you guys know from my other videos that I don't always do this, but I feel like now that I'm filming more and I'm home anyway, might as well try to look a little nicer on camera for you guys, like I said before. I just quickly straightened my hair. It's just been easier for me lately than doing the curling iron. So I did that quickly. She's actually looking like she's about to get up from her nap. So I'll probably go grab her soon, but it took me like 25 minutes to put her down for her nap. I think I put her down a little too early. And I think she was still hungry because she had spit up a bunch from the milk that I gave her in the morning. I think it was just a lot because I'm so engorged in the morning since she's sleeping through the night that I like shove my boob in her mouth and I'm like, drink it, please. And so I think it was just a lot of milk for her. And um, once she ate it, she was good for a little bit, but then she kind of spit a bunch up and I feel like then she was hungry again, right? Like, cause her stomach was empty. Not completely. That's just my thinking behind it. Um, so I fed her put her back down and all that, and all that took like another 25 minutes. So she was down now for, let's see how long. I'm referring to my app, the Huckleberry one that I told you guys about in the last video. Um, my, 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 and she's been down for an hour and a half. So that's good because it took me about 25 minutes to half an hour to put her back down. So I'm counting more of like an hour of her actually sleeping. So she's moving around a little, let's see what happens. I also wanted to show you guys the blinds because I never finished showing you guys that because the second one didn't come till the next day, which is very weird. I don't know why they just didn't come in a box together. Maybe they were a little back ordered. I don't really know. But I wanted to show you guys because I think they're renter friendly and they do the job. They actually make the room pretty nice and dark. Um, and I like that it's not like pitch black in there. It's still a little bit of light. And I think it might be because might be because I put in her air conditioning and that's, you know, you can't really cover that. There's still some light coming in through there. So... Yeah, that's that. <laughs> I also have an H&M order coming in today and I wanted to show you guys a couple things that I got. So I figured I'd just connect the vlogs because it's not like a super long vlog anyway. It probably will be when I go to edit the footage like always, but I think it shouldn't be that long, especially with just the one vlog. So I decided to combine them. Oh, good burp, yay. You know you're a mom when you're happy about those things. So Penelope is up from her nap. Um, I just finished filming, which I'm really happy about because I needed to refilm that video and it came out much better. The lighting was so much better in her room. Just love filming in her room. I'm like full on in my pajamas again. Um, and I took off my lipstick and my hair is already back. I just, I can't, I'm, I'm at home and I just can't do it. I cannot be dressed and sitting on my couch all day. We're in our PJs and I'm gonna show you guys the blinds after I put them up. So I learned doing it the first time to use like a sharper, heavier, like in more intense knife, which is what I did the, the next time and it went way quicker. I think it took me like two minutes instead of 10 minutes to cut through. So basically, um, I just measured them right inside the wall and then there's a sticker and then they just pull down. They're kind of heavy actually. I thought they would be a lot more cheap, but they really shut out the light. And then doing this on top of it, it's great. So the only reason she has any light in her room now is because she has her air conditioner in the wall now because it's starting to get warm and when it's really sunny the sun comes through on the bottom but the same thing over here I just do it like this and my only complaint with them so far besides being a pain to cut was once you put them up like they're kind of uneven how do I explain it like they're not perfectly Flush. You can see it better here. Like, it's, see how that side is really nice and tight, and this side isn't, and it's like all the way up. That's like all it goes. So that's my only complaint with them. It's a little, you know, it's not like the best thing in the world, but for a quick, easy solution for an apartment, I totally recommend it. My sister just left, and it's so sad that she can't come in and like hang out with me and Penelope. And oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. I just. This freaking virus sucks. <laughs> but um, when she came, I realized that I got the two packages that I was waiting for. H&M is right there, so I'm gonna open it with you guys. And then I also got this stuff. <laughs> um, one of my coworkers actually was told me that um, Costco had stocked up on their Clorox wipes. 
and so I was able to order them online, but it was only like one per membership, per customer, whatever. So I just opened it, gave one to my sister since she was here, and then I have four left still. So that's a good amount. And that should last a little while. And also my mom had shipped from Florida this can of Lysol because another necessity. And then I still have some wipes left in here. So I think we're okay on the disinfectants for a little bit. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's much later because Penelope did not want to go down for that last nap. I have food in my mouth. This is gross. <laughs> Sorry, Penelope didn't want to go down for that last nap. Tried for like 30, 40 minutes. Sometimes it happens. I'm not complaining because she's been doing so good with sleeping through the night. And even her naps have been really good. But like I said, sometimes it happens. So she didn't really want to nap. She napped for a little bit. And now she's over there playing on her play map. You guys can see right there. So now I figure I can go through the H&M stuff since she's... Busy over there anyway. <laughs> oh my god, I could have literally done an entire video on just this haul probably, but whatever, I'm just gonna sneak it in today's vlog. I um, don't even remember what's in here because it's been that long. <sighs> She's so quiet over there. Anyway, let's see what's inside here. I got a pair of shorts. Oh, I'm happy I got a medium and not anything bigger, but I got a pair of like nude sweat shorts. Just thought they'd be cute with like a white tee. Some white sneakers or whatever they're really like a comfortable short obviously because they're like sweatshorts i got two pairs of cutoffs and i'm curious if they're gonna fit me because i got a size eight just because i'm not at my pre-pregnancy weight yet and they had no stretch so they actually might fit perfect they look like they might actually fit perfect because there's zero stretch to these so i didn't want to risk getting get anything any smaller um, but if they fit me, they're really cute. They're like the a perfect little cutoff short um, These were oh, I was gonna tell you the price of everything, but there's no prices on them. So um, I'll link whatever I can down below like whatever's still available But I got a pair of jean ones like jean color and then I got a pair of black Just because those are like my staple shorts that I wear all the time so I hope these fit, and even if they're a little bit small, that's okay. I actually rather them be a little bit on the small side so I can wear them when I lose baby weight. Oh, I got a bra because um, my bras don't fit me. <laughs> I'm a C now, I'm assuming. So I got a bra that I can wear that um, that I can wear strapless or with the straps. So it looks like this. It's nude. It goes with everything, obviously. That's why I got a nude one. But I'm curious if that fits me because I'm pretty sure I'm a C now. Oh, I got some t-shirts. I literally can't remember everything I got. It's, it took so long with everything going on to, to get here. I got a small on this because it's like an oversized tee. But I just wanted something easy to throw on with some shorts and, you know, just have an easy outfit. I got the beige one. Did I get two or three of them? I got a beige one. I got a black one. I literally live in t-shirts in the summer. Unless I'm like actually going out of my way to put an outfit together, I wear a t-shirt and cutoffs all the time. Uh-oh, someone's fussing over there. BRB. <laughs> okay, back to what we're doing. Then I got this shirt. Ooh, that looks big. I hope this fits me. What size is this? I got a medium. It looks kind of large. This looks like a large, doesn't it? Like this is big. Jeez, I mean, I don't know if this is gonna fit me. If it's not, I'll exchange it for a small. But, um, I thought this was pretty because it's a really, I mean, it's a pretty top in general, like with the puffy sleeves and the um, V kind of neck, but I thought this would be really easy to breastfeed in. So I don't know where I think I'm going in these outfits because probably not going anywhere anytime soon with everything going on, but I just figured if this ever does stop um, infecting people and all that, maybe we can go out in the world and I'll have outfits. Uh, what else? Okay, I got this little top. Again, I pretty much tried to buy any, everything that was easy to breastfeed in. So this is like a little button down top. And I got it also in a size medium. I hope these fit me, like, why does it look so large? I mean, this looks more realistic to a medium. So I thought that would be cute. Um, you can tuck it into a pair of high-waisted jeans or into those shorts. This skirt I got because I don't have anything like this and I thought um, if I have to go somewhere I can always throw something like this on with like a nicer black top and some sandals or something. 
but this is an SI6 and those are an eight. I thought this would be stretchy though. That's why I got this in a six and the pant and the shorts in an eight. So I don't know, this might not fit, we'll see. Okay, quickly, because my camera is dying. Um, I got these shoes. They only had an eight and a half and I really wanted them. So I got an eight and a half and I'm usually a nine. So they might not fit, but I just thought they were so classy and pretty and cute. I love them. Oh my God, I love them. And they're real leather, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, real leather. Just like a really trendy white sandal. Um, so I got these. I hope they fit. They look like they'll be okay. Since they're open toe, I think it won't be a problem. And then, what else? I got one other white top. And also a medium. Why do these mediums just look so, like, doesn't that look like a large? I don't know. Okay, guys, I actually had to charge my battery and put down Penelope for her next nap. So I took a little break, but um, I was opening up all her stuff so i'll show you guys that now first thing that i think is just so freaking cute i'm obsessed with this is this little bathing suit can you just die like how cute is this with the little rufflies and the little scoop back it's just a little scoop back but it's still so cute um it's not like the most amazing quality it is pretty thin but for a this is size two to four months oh no three to six three to six months i don't think it's that big of a deal um I don't know, I just think it's so cute. I love this little pattern. And because they had the matching hat, I had to get it. <laughs> so this is actually um, perfect for protecting your head from the sun. And I got the hat in a little bit of a bigger size. I got it in, oh no, did I get three to six in both? Oh, I guess I did. I thought I got the hat in a bigger size for some reason, but that's fine. I know that she'll be able to fit into this probably a little longer than she will be able to fit into this, but so cute. They have the cutest little girls bathing suits and I wanted another one but they had sold out of course because it was just so darn cute that's the only thing with H&M kids they have really cute affordable stuff but it sells out so fast because it is like kind of like very um Zara and aesthetically pleasing like super cute but they are inexpensive so they sell out really quick um I got her this little dress mainly because it was so cheap guys I think it was like four dollars like something ridiculous like and it's adorable um, it's just a pink little dress with little pink flowers and little green leaves. And with that, I bought a pack of these bloomers um, because I figured she can wear these with anything, but she can just, you know, throw this underneath the dress and she has like a little outfit. So that's cute. These little bloomers were inexpensive too. And they're cotton, organic cotton, and I got them in two to four. I got her very small sizes and all this stuff, even though she's about to be three months old because... I don't have anything in her size for this kind of age and if we decide to go anywhere I wanted to have like a couple of options so yeah that's why I did that and then last little outfit is this little cute organic um I think it's organic too little like romper I guess this is in two to four months and it's adorable I think it's so cute and it's gonna fit her now probably until another couple months and then um, that was the last outfit but I did get her a pack of these little tanks because they were super inexpensive and they're just perfect for the summer because even like on a really hot day I can literally just throw her in this like instead of a whole outfit um, and I got her these in two to four as well but I figured these definitely I don't want to stretch them out but they can definitely stretch so I think they're gonna fit her probably at least until she's four months, but I think she'll they'll fit her probably until the summer's over. So she has a nice good pack of those for the summer. So I think that was everything. Oh, I did try on the shorts while my battery was charging and they actually do fit a little snug. I do like the no stretch look. I just wish it had just a tiny bit of stretch, at least in the waist. Um, but they do fit and they fit snug so i'm happy about that actually because i know if i even lose like five pounds they'd fit so much better so i'm gonna wear them and rock them for a little while and then i guess i'll have them for when i do lose the baby weight um i do really like the cut off um edges too like the unfinished bottom and i like where they cut like where they hit i should say they hit like right under my well, not right under, like two inches under my butt cheeks, so I don't have like my butt tank, my butt cheeks hanging out. Because some of my shorts are a little like risque. Like these, I can actually wear out and about. Unlike some of my shorts that I need to just wear them to the beach or retire them. Because um, not that you die when you become a mom, but I just don't feel like I need my whole 
butt cheeks hanging out at this point in my life so anyway i guess that's everything that i have to show you guys um and i think i'm just gonna end the vlog here so i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you did give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe before you leave leave a comment if you have any questions i'm gonna try to leave everything i talked about today um in the description box i also am going to leave the link to my amazon page that has links of things that i talk about all the time or like my baby essentials and all that stuff so yeah i guess that's it and i'll see you guys in my next one bye